All right, so hello again. My name is Pranit, and welcome to our Trading You Pine Script series. In this video, we are going to build and backtest a trading strategy with moving averages and RSI. So you can see over here, the net profit is one seventy eight percent. Total of those trades are one thirty nine percent. Profitable is forty two percent. Profit factor is one point six, and the max drawdown is fourteen percent. So this is the trading strategy that we have built, and I'm going to share it right now. All right. So before we start with the code, uh, let us understand the rules of the trading strategy. So in this strategy, we are going to use two indicators: the RSI and the moving average crossover. So let me plot the RSI indicator, and let me change the settings to 60 and 40. Here we go, 60 and 40. And then we don't need the RSI based MA. We are going to use moving average. Uh, which we plot on the prices and not the RSI. So uh, let me go over here. RSI based DMA, RSI, and 14 minute RSI. So the rule is extremely simple. But before that, let me just explain the indicator that I have made. So if you go to the settings of the indicator, right? So I have kept MA type. So if you want the crossover of EMAs, then you just have to click on this drop down and select EMA. If you want the crossover of WMA, just select WMA. Or HMA or linear regression. It depends on which crossover you want to use. I have given you the options of five MAs basically, and also you have the input controls to control it. So, for example, if I have twenty and fifty, then automatically this will change. So, if I click on linear regression, right, and if I do it as fifty and hundred, it will automatically change. The moving averages will automatically change. So, uh, it is just good for optimization. And in this indicator only, we are going to build the strategy part. So the rules are pretty simple. So when the 13 exponential moving average, right, when the 13 exponential moving average is above the 34 exponential moving average, and the RSI is above the 60 level, we are going to enter into a trade. So if you can see over here, let me just mark an arrow. Uh, here we go. So if you see over here at this point. Uh, basically, yeah. At this point, at this point, we are going to go long and we are going to exit when the EMAs are negative. So I don't think so. We have an exit over here. So whenever the 13 EMA has crossed below the 34 EMA, we are going to exit our long position. As simple as that. And now for a short example. So when the 13 EMA is below the 34 EMA and the RSI is below the 40 level. We are going to enter into a short trade, and we are going to exit when the EMAs are positive, which means over here. So these are the basically two rules that we are going to use to build the strategy. But the main important thing over here is, let's suppose you don't want the EMA, right? You want to use the whole moving average, which is also a very good moving average to use because it is very responsive to the prices. So just click on whole moving average. And it will automatically change to whole moving average. If you want linear regression, then you can use linear regression. If you want the weighted moving average, you can use the weighted moving average. This VWMA is nothing but the volume weighted moving average. All right. So now, as we have understood the rules, just go to the code. If you don't want to see the coding part, you can actually skip to the back testing and optimization part. I've created a timestamp. So if you want to see the code, you can. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to you know, do the input controls for the RSI indicator. So RSI length and this will be fourteen. Title will be RSI length. Here we go. And then I want indicator right. So RSI is equal to TA dot RSI close and the RSI length. And over here, see there I have already. Created the buy signal, but what I'm going to do over here is I don't want the exact point of the crossover. I just want that the smaller moving average should be above the longer moving average, and same goes and just vice versa goes for the short. I just want the smaller moving average to be below the longer moving average. So I'm just going to do this. MA should be greater than MA two, and over here it will be MA should be less than the MA two, and I want the RSI to be greater than the 60 level, and over here, I want the RSI to be 
less than the 411 as simple as that okay so now cell is equals to cell is equals to ta dot cross under of ma and ma2 and then cover is equals to ta dot cross over of ma and ma2 so now we have created the buy and the short signals let's just cover the strategy buy so if buy strategy dot entry id as long direction as strategy dot long and comment as long if cell strategy dot close long and comment as by exit if short strategy dot entry and then id as short and then direction as strategy dot short comment as short if cover strategy dot close id as short and then comment as short exit so we have to keep the same id then only trading you understand what are we trying to exit and i think everything is done let me just create one more two more input controls for the overbought and the oversold level so this will be ob and os 60 and 40 overbought and oversold then we have ob over here and over here we going to have oversold so let me save it this will be strategy and then save it all right here we go let me just add it to the chart again you can see right this, are, this is the equity curve now let me just go to the properties and keep this as 2 lakhs and 0.2 percent and let me remove the drawing so can you see we have a short we have a short exit we have a long and we have a buy exit so everything is working well uh, you can see that we have a long over here and the trade is still going on so everything is working well according to what we have coded and now let me just go to the strategy tester and you can see right these are the results on a 15 bit time frame if i increase the time frame these are the results if we go to one hour time frame these are the results if you go to a two hour these are the results so i'm just going to keep 30 minutes for now and then i'm going to change some of the settings just to see how it is working so if i click on uh, OBS 70 and this is as 30 you can see right these are the results so i think 60 and 40 are working well let me just keep 50 for now the trades will be high obviously uh yeah these are the results so i think 60 and 40 is working good and then the ma type i'm going to select as weighted moving average you can see the net profit volume weighted moving average you can see the net profit and if i keep her moving average The trades are too high uh, because as the hull is very responsive to the prices, it is going to take more trades. So if I increase the uh, small wing average to 20 and to long wing average to 50, you can see this is the result. If we go to a linear regression, you can see these are the results. So I think with moving with EMA only, I think it is working good. You can see it we have a net profit of 211 percent let me just go to the list of trades uh not list of trades performance summary you can see right long is 179 percent but short is 32 percent so as you already know if you have watched my videos i always create a long only and short only filter so lo is equals to input dot bull the default value is false and over here the default value 
is false. So I'm just going to keep the long edge true. And then if LO, I want to execute only long trades. If SO, long LO means long only, SO means short only. You can keep it, these are just variables, you can keep anything that you want. Update on chart and then let's just see the results. Can you see? We have a very smooth equity curve on a 30 minute time frame uh, when you are only taking the long signals and 0.2%. Now let us check the equity curve. You can see right, this, this is the equity curve. Obviously the trades are too less but I think the equity curve is good. Uh, let me just go to a 15 minute time frame. This is the equity curve. If we go to a higher time frame, this is the equity curve. One of my subscribers told me to create the strategy with moving average and RSI. And if you want me to code your strategies, please connect us on our WhatsApp business number and tell us what you want to create. So basically this is to the video. If you want the code, all you have to do is go to tradingboard.com slash contact. The link is in the description and just text us on our WhatsApp business number. I will and I will make sure that the code gets to you. And if you want to enroll in our PineScript course and create this type of strategies, make sure to check the page out. The link is in the description. And if you have any queries regarding that, you can always reach us on the same number. And also remember that I've created day trading strategies, pullback trading strategies, as well as swing trading strategies. The link of all those videos will be in the description. So make sure to check those videos out. And if you like this video, please subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this trading strategy. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again in the next series.